old man's gonna have a stroke when he sees this. You're telling me, if I keep getting crap games like this, Thomas Nelson probably won't even accept me. <laughs> yeah, right, Mr. PhD. <laughs> but really, why don't you just pay like somebody to do all your grades for you? There's that one smart kid who knows how to hack in the system. Because unlike you, I want to actually work to better my grades. Why do you think I dragged you two here? Because you does love company. But we ain't nerds, man. I just came to look at the babes. Hey. <laughs> How can I help you, miss? How's your mom doing, man? I don't know, bro. What do you mean you don't know? The doctor say she doesn't have that much strength left to go through the chemo again. And she keep... Hey, 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 dude. Look, listen up. Your mom is one of the strongest persons I've ever known. Okay, and I don't say that lightly. Alright? And I'm not trying to say you need to be all soldier. I'm not saying you gotta just strengthen up and toughen up. I'm just saying, man, there's hope. I know. It's just... It's just so hard to see your mom getting weaker and knowing she might die and I wish I would I wish I wouldn't feel anything. Huh. What do you mean by that, man? What do you mean by that? No more feelings, no more anger, no more hurt. No more anything, man. <laughs> you remember you remember that time when you and me were kids, man, in the summer? And we were playing around with the frying pans, trying to hit each other, and your mom came in. She was all mad and whatnot. Oh, yeah. She swore she was going to beat us with that toaster that day. I saw we were going to legit die. <laughs> <laughs> or that, that day we found that bee's nest up in the corner of your mom's roof. Oh, yeah. We tried to burn it. Yeah, my dad was so mad that day. <laughs> he, for a month, he, he was complaining about how it smelled like burnt honey. <laughs> Look, man, you're like a bro to me, all right? And I mean that, and you know that. You too, man. I appreciate it. I'll see you at Telecom tomorrow. All right, man. Take care. What's up, guys? Hey. Nothing much, man. Uh, recovering from my loss. Loss? What did you lose? A better something? Well, like profits. It seems like nobody wants to pay me to hack into the net anymore. Maybe this fool actually learned how to use a textbook for once. Yeah, right. I wish it was that easy to explain. Explain? What, what are you talking about? Well, it's really weird. But I've been like reading these rumors online, and apparently someone's found a new way to cheat in class without getting caught. Meaning, nerds like me are useless because they don't need me to go into the system and change their grades. Boy, that's not even possible. That's the weird part. It's gross. Like, it seems they put a chip in the back of your neck and it sends signals to your head or something and gives you all the answers. All right, all right, that's really grimy, bro. Only a... What's up, guys? for exam it really drove you insane. Why that's your ex. So, are you ready to accept your fate and bomb your exams with style? <laughs> Why that's your ex. I'm more ready for this test than ever. Yeah. Did it hurt? Wait, 
Does it look infected? Why, Why would you even? even? I mean, think about it. Forty-five bucks, and I can. I don't have to cheat for the rest of my high school career. It's like having Google in my head. Hey, hey, give me the hardest question you can. Who is the fifteenth prime minister of Australia? Sir Earl Christmas Grafton Page, born August eighth, eighteen eighty. Is that right? Well, I guess my services are no longer needed here. school server room anyway at the school. Oh, God, dude, come on. Man, you do that stuff too much. For real. Hey, hey, y'all complain about my hacking now, but one day, it's gonna save our lives, oh, okay? So y'all better be grateful. You better be thankful you haven't been caught yet. I'm not going to get caught. Do you know who you're talking to? Tucker Stevenson? Caught? I'm like a ninja. You know, oh, you know what? I'm better than a ninja. I am the master of the shadows. What are you looking at? Yeah, dude, for real. Oh. No, nah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it.
Why, why does your car always do this? Look, if we make it out of here. You got it. Well, all right. Look, Brenda has problems, okay? Uh, Br Brenda needs to get the problems fixed. You have problems too. Look, we need to focus now. Look, I can't talk about it now, but we gotta warn Brian now. Okay. Seems. tendencies and begin growing dependent on the network or its handler. 
it's like a hive mind, and they're just the brainwashed drones. Someone's using these signals in these chips to control them in. All right, we're not keeping the secret anymore, man. All right, seriously, I've heard enough. Like, if this is all for real, and if you're for real right now, no more. All right, call the cops. Go get freaking police department. I'm not kidding right now. All right. Hello? Yes, sir? Why would I need to... Still, right? He's got a chance. He just got out there, right? Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. All right, dude. Look, here's the way I see it. Go back to telecom. It's a hive mind, right? Destroy the bee, right? Destroy the queen bee. Get rid of it all. That's what I'm saying, dude. Go there. Upload some sort of computer virus. If this thing is a network, a living network, go in there and shut down with a virus. You're the hacker. You can do it somehow, man. All right? Thanks. Thanks. Just cut the strings on them. All we have to do is connect to the satellite that's telecom and send a frequency so they shut down. It's that simple. Just do it then. Alright. I'm gonna need some time to develop the file to make the frequency. I can tell then we're gonna need time. I can get you that man. Alright? Alright, get you that. We just gotta do this, alright? I'm not gonna let that happen to him. All right, you don't get controlled no. either. None right. of us. None of us. Come on, dude. We're the last. We got to get Marcus back. <sighs> I told him to meet here at this time. Gosh, where is he? Let me call him. Yo, Brian, where you at? You went after Marcus? Why would you do such a thing? Oh, look, we needed to get this done today to get this over with. You expect me to do this by myself? All right, all right, all right fine, fine, I understand. All right, all right, bye. Oh. All right, Brian. All right, Tucker. It's you against them. Let's do this.
I need your help, sis. Oh, man. Not this again. Alright. Shadows. Give me my shoes, punk. Alright. Time to save the world. This shouldn't take long at all. It's been a long couple of weeks for all of us. Couple of weeks? Where have I been? Long story. Come on. One minute. Yeah. Hey, Mom. Yep, I saved the world. Yeah, yeah, I'll be home in a minute. Chicken for dinner? Let's go! All right, I'll see you in a minute. Bye. Good morning to those of you who are tuning in I'm Tanya Mayers reporting for Action 37. We have breaking news out of the city of Newport News. Yesterday, the NMPD were notified to a cultist plot involving a Newport News Guidance Department. According to trusted sources, Woodside's Guidance Department had allegedly stolen a cache of Hartman Welch Corporation prototypes that were still seeking approval for the DOD, although we reached out for further comment, the Harshman Welch Corporation has still remained quiet. However, according to our sources, the accused attempted to use their devices to control the faculty and student populations of both Woodside and Warwick High Schools. As of now, the individuals are still awaiting trial in federal court, but due to the overwhelming amount of people affected by this event, 
state and folks persons are asking citizens to visit their local health departments or emergency rooms to have any remaining devices to be disposed of. Check in at 5 o'clock for more information involving the investigation for Action 37 News. This is Tanya Mayers signing off.